Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ow! Okay, so today I'm going to be washing a human hair wig. After my last um, wig washing video, I had a few people request um, me doing it on a human hair wig. So I need to wash my Mariah wig because she's had some fun times. Mmm. And it's coming after Christmas and you know, they wheel me out. <laughs> Dressed as Mariah each Christmas, um, which I love. So we're going to do that today. Now, if you're new here, welcome. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you like the video, like it and share it. Even if you don't like it, still like it and share it. Yes. If you like it, comment. If you don't like it, please don't comment. No negativity here. It's a, it's a nice, safe space for us here, okay? So, okay. Human hair wig. It's very similar to my last video of uh, washing a synthetic wig. Um, there's just a couple of golden rules that you just don't do with human hair. The main one is soaking the wig. Never soak the wig. And I'll tell you why. So, human hair swells when it's wet. When you've got a knotted wig or a knotted hair, yes, this, is, this is a full lace with some weft sewn into it. Oh, don't Please don't ask me for this to buy this wig. Like, this wig is not available, I'm sorry. This wig was purchased and got before the war and um, and <laughs> the great wig war, the great wig famine. Um, and so then not available at the moment, but hopefully one day soon there will be. But anyway, this is obviously a full lace wig. And so when the hair is knotted into the lace, it makes a tight knot, which stays tight. But because hair swells when it's wet, their knots, well, the hair swells and then swells the knot. So the knot will release itself from the swelling and then the hair will shrink back down when it's dry, but the knot stays open. And that's when you get hair that all pulls through this side because the knots have got loose and it's gotten, you know, loose. And so that's the golden rule. That's really the only difference and using good quality products. So I do have a few brush options. I mean, these are like detangling brushes specifically for like human hair, like wefts and stuff like that. They are really good. And that'll just um help you, you know, brush out hair that isn't too tangled or knotty. But if you have got lots of tangles and you can see like the underneath of my wig here is quite matted because um, I wear necklaces because I wear like a breastplate with Mariah and I have to wear necklaces to cover up the, the line. Um, so the necklace and the sweat just gets a bit matty. So I will use for that a standard wig brush, which is a metal bristle brush without knobs on the ends. Um, now we, yeah, this, she's not ac actually bad condition at all. I haven't washed her since I colored her which was quite a few years ago. Um, when I say I haven't washed her, I've washed the ends, but not the base. Because I kind of want to, unless the, 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 the wig is really dirty and it needs a wash, try to avoid it. Because what you can do, you can actually just hold the wig like this, especially with a long human hair wig, and you can just dunk the ends and wash the ends and not get the base wet. And that will help save the life of your knots. Obviously, if it's dirty, then, you know, and you got hairspray in the base and the roots and stuff like that. But because, you know, I wear this without any product in it and quite straight, the roots were fine. The base was fine. Um, but I wore it quite a lot last year and it was quite a warm summer. She doesn't smell, but she needs a wash. So I'm going to use my Glam Mist from Wella and I'm going to brush her out, which I'm going to do in fast motion. And I am going to use the music I used last time as well, because I thought that music was hilarious. I know that some of you didn't like it and thought it was juvenile, uh, but <laughs> Nikita and I actually sat there and we made a conscious decision to keep replaying that music because every time it played, we giggled. <laughs> so I'm going to use that music again. <laughs> Sorry if you don't like it, but you know, hey, um, but I want you to be happy. You know, I, you know, I want you to be happy, so, you know. But let me have this, okay? I have I have so little in life. Let me have this song, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> wow. Stop. What? Bye. 
Okay, so uh, because there's no backcombing, there's no product, um, she's all very smooth anyway, um, she just had a little bit of tangle, a few, just a few tangles, which are quite easy to get out. But like, if you have got a matted wig, obviously follow the same principles that I showed you in the last brushing or the last wig washing video, which is like isolating the, the knots, don't rip it through. I mean, look, I lost a little bit of hair, but I think that's a, that's a small price to pay. A few casualties of war. So now, we're gonna wash it. Oh, hi. Okay, so what I have done is I have separated the top half of the wig because I have colored this and it was colored ages ago and I can't remember what color I used and whether it was like a semi-permanent or a demi-permanent or a permanent. I know the roots are permanent, but I think the shading is, um, is a semi and I don't want to lose too much of that color. So I'm gonna separate that out and I'm gonna wash that last. But also that's a good thing to do as well. If you've got a really thick wig, Sometimes it's hard for all the product to get through to the center. If you've got this big chunky, you know, like ponytail like this or amount of hair like that, and you're washing it, sometimes the internal sections of the hair doesn't get everything it needs. So it's, sometimes it is good to separate like this and wash it in sections. Let me fill up my basin. Oh, I'm using Weller color um, because it's nice. Color brilliance. Um, it's nice and conditioning. It's best to use a good quality professional product when washing your human hair wigs. It's something that's like designed for highly chemically treated hair because, you know, this ain't virgin hair, honey. <laughs> and, you know, you want as much moisture in the, the, the fibre and the cuticles as possible. So, let's go in and dunk it and pull the water through like we did in the other videos. If it's not filthy, you don't need that much. You know what I mean? So I've done that bottom, <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go into the top with it. Oh, I can see lots of makeup in here yet. Yeah, easy to wash. Okay, have we got all the makeup out the front? I think we do. Actually, might get them a little. And that colour looks fine, so I'm not scared now. But the water's doing. Also, remember that the weight of the hair when it's wet is going to put pressure on the lace. So make sure you really hold the wig and don't don't hold it by the edge. Like you really get in there and grab the base. Oh yeah. Look at that soup. Mmm. Lovely. That'll be this makeup in the hair because it goes in the face. Give it a rinse. Now, like last time, I always do the rinse test to make sure I've got all the suds out by putting the plug in. And there are no suds, so it's rinsed. Now we can condition. Use a lot of conditioner. The hair's very thirsty. Okay, now we can just go through and, ah, oh, that glide, I love it. Here's what I was saying about soaking. 
You want to keep the base out of the water as much as possible. I mean, obviously you have to wash the base, so it will get wet. But if I want to have the ends soak a little bit for a little bit more of a treatment, then just keep the base out. Is that going to stay? Yeah. And let the ends stay in the conditioning water. Just um, to let the cuticles shrink as much as possible. I mean, usually wigs that are highly treated and are highly processed are kind of, you know, beyond repair, but they are, but you can't, but they can't, what am I trying to say? They need help, but you're never gonna fix them. <laughs> so give them as much help as possible. Let's let that soak for a little bit now, okay? Okay, hi, I'm back. Okay, so she's had a nice little, well, her ends have had a soak. The base hasn't. So I'm gonna do the same rinsing technique as I did with my last video. And that is filling the basin up or the bucket up and rinsing her in her conditioner water so I can dilute the conditioner down without stripping it out too much. What's happening here? Okay, it's one go. That's two goes, and I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think that's an that's 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 good. I think because the hair's so long, I need to leave you know conditioner in there. But yeah, my my hands don't feel slimy which is good but obviously because each rinse has been in diluted conditioner I'm never going to rinse that conditioner out altogether okay so I'm going to give her a little squeeze just to get as much excess water as possible now I'm going to block her up and um hang her out to dry so it's freedom week week we're allowed out again um, and we're at Ikea for a very important... Oh, he's still here. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> for a very important reason. <laughs> so great, isn't it? <laughs> and for some reason now, it feels even, like, more amazing. Yeah. It's like a wonderland. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be out of the house, guys. <laughs> okay, so the reason why we're at Ikea... No, not those ones, no. Um, it's because we need to buy fake plants. Um, oh, I hope they have the ones. Oh, they do. Oh, they, oh yeah, they do. Okay, yeah, these are the ones we want. We need, we need twelve of these. Okay. One, mm -hmm. eleven. Okay. Yeah. Look up. Oh my god. Look how pretty that looks. <gasps> oh, oh my okay. god. Okay. Oh my god. Matches your hair. Oh my god. Thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hard to come to IKEA and not get a giant hot dog for a dollar <laughs> but we're not going to no 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 we're not no we're not Whoa. okay we're back um and the reason why we had to do that <laughs> it's very important for this video because <laughs> this is where we dry our wigs okay and um <laughs> well let me just show you as you can see they are looking Oh, there's some there, but they're like, they've been out here for two years or three years and they're very brittle. 
So we're going to replace them. So the video looks nice. Okay, we're back. We've got the uh, wig all blocked up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section her up just loosely. And there's this lovely product from Wella called Color Brilliance with lime caviar. Oh, um, and it's really nice and um, hydrating. So I'm just gonna just spray her with that just to give her a little bit more of a treatment with a wide tooth comb. Just run it through and do that in sections so I get as much of the hair as possible. I'm not being too precious. There is a lot of product involved, well, not a lot of product, but like there is product involved in maintaining and looking after human hair wigs. A little bit more than a synthetic wig. Just because you want to look after that hair, you know? Because this wig has been parted, I've plucked the part, um, and I always wear it in the center because when I do Mariah, I need to cover up that side of my face. Um, I've just got a different shape face to hers and it helps with the illusion. So of all Mariah's hairstyles, this one is the one that sort of helps me impersonate her the best. So she's always part of the middle, nice and flat. Okay, here's a little trick for you, okay? Um, now if I let her dry like that, I'm just gonna let her air dry, which is fine. It just is a nice center part. But I do find that the hair is quite heavy on the face. So to avoid that, my little trick is I tilt the head back and I brush the roots just off the face. Just going back like that. And what that will do is that it'll just help the knots dry in a slightly back direction. So by the time it will, it will fall down, but it won't be really heavy like a, like a sheet, um, like a curtain on my face. It'll, it'll sort of help frame the face as opposed to like, you know, down. Does that make sense? Yeah, anyway, that's what I do with this. So get that. And she's all nice and smooth. She's got product in her. And I'm gonna take her outside and let her dry. And now you can see our little outside garden, which is the reason why I went to Ikea. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, it's just, it'll still fall forward, but it's just going back off the face. And then we go outside. Now follow me. Oh, look at our, look at our beautiful garden. <laughs> I couldn't possibly have done this video with those old flowers. So we had we've been meaning to go to the, 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 the IKEA to replace these flowers for ages, but this gave us the uh, <laughs> the excuse. Um, I've got some plastic um, wig holders, wig clamps that live out here all the time because we dry lots of wigs out here. And then I just put her on there and let her dry. And that's it. Yeah, it's a bit of an overcast day. It might rain, we might bring it back inside, but for now, she can just dry out here on her own, okay? Okay, well, that's how you wash a human hair wig. I'm not gonna style it today. We'll leave that for another video. I've got Mariah gigs coming up, so uh, for the Christmas, as long as we don't go back into a lockdown. Oh. So we'll do another video of how to style it then, but thanks for joining me if you enjoyed it. Click the subscribe button and like it and share it and do all those things. Um, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Wigs by Vanity. This is my wigs. I don't wear hair.